All right, and we're in the booth here with Coach T. Post game, Bates eight, Owls six. Coach, it was a really physical game from what I saw, um, but offensively, you guys just kind of struggled to generate a little offense. It seemed. What, what were your thoughts offensively? Yeah, I, I just don't think we're a hundred percent there yet. Now, well, Andy Miller, one of our starting attackmen, um, in his apartment with the flu tonight. So you know, he's usually good for a couple goals. And you know, Jeff Wiedenfeld, one of our starting attackmen, still out. So I think when you put two of those out, it, it kind of changes the offense a little bit. So with that, it, um, you know, we don't generate as much offense. But you know, I'm, I'm feeling with this, we have like a two-week break that at, during this point, we're going to get healthy and we're going to be able to be full, full ball for the LEC um, schedule that's coming up. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely like the way the offense did play together tonight. I mean, a lot more passing, a little bit slower tempo. But I think there's a lot to build on for these next 17 days. It's a long break. Um, defensively, what did you think about the defense tonight? Completely uh, impressed with what they did. And, you know, any time a team um, defensively has a team, you know, the other team less than 10, it's always a win for the defense. So they, they played a great game. Chuck and Matt did a, a wonderful job. I only think the, the, our only difficulty with that was our clears. You know, they, I, I don't think we had enough poise during, during our clears. We gave up three, <laughs> excuse me, three or four of them. And, you know, I think that's, those are big possessions and big momentum changes. And, you know, once you have a nice defensive set and you get the ball and then you lose it and, you, and the, the team gets it back again, it kind of deflates you a little bit and you get a goal against that. And, you know, it's a two-goal game and you do that a couple times, that's, you know, you, you are going to lose. But, you know, overall, I, I, I'm proud of them. You know, Bates is a good team and it's an ESCAC team. And, you know, we, were, we hung with them the entire way through. And I thought, you know, if we could get a, just a little bit more momentum, then we could have, you know, pulled out a win today. Yeah, it was good to see them compete. I mean, definitely seemed like you guys put yourself in a chance to take that one. Um, but do you feel ready going into LEC play? Yeah, I, you know, we, we have, like I said, we have two and a half weeks. We still have a lot to work to do. But now, you know, as I said to the guys in our huddle after the game, we're zero and zero in the LEC. And, you know, for me, we'll play teams like Bates College that's going to prepare us for the LEC rather than taking a team that, you know, we could beat by 28 goals. I don't think we get anything out of that as a team. You know, a, a game like tonight, you have to dig all the way through, and if you make a mistake, you pay for it. And, you know, again, that, that's what I'm trying to teach these guys. And I think with the LEC coming up and in two weeks, two plus weeks, we have a lot of the time to prepare and, and play and prepare specifically for the teams that we're going to be playing. Mm -hmm. I feel I feel good about you guys, Coach. Yeah, we're pretty optimistic. Like we're, we we don't, we're not upset right now with our record. I mean, obviously we want to have a lot more wins, but in regards to the LAC, we know we know to keep our eye on the prize, and the, the big one is at the end of um, you know, at the end of the LAC. So we're we're in good shape. Yep. Best of luck going forward, Coach. Thank you so much. Good for you guys. Responsibility is being accountable for your words and actions, first and foremost. It also is an obligation to be a positive influence in the communities around you. Being in a D3 program, you're going to have lots of different opportunities. You're not just an athlete, you're also involved in student life. Your academics are extremely important. We give a lot of our student athletes responsibilities right from the start by giving them leadership opportunities, by having them engage in the community, being a positive influence. That's being a responsible person. Thank you for joining us here tonight. The Owls will be back on the field March 23rd at Eastern Connecticut State College. That will open up LEC play for them, and they will be back at home April 6th versus Southern Maine. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time, Owls. Watching a Keene State Athletics broadcast on the Owls Media Network. Please tune in to our next broadcast and thank you for watching.